Hey, hey guys, and welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise every day, and then, and then, we increase that exercise very slowly. Sometimes we can go backwards a little bit if we've been doing the exercise wrong, or if we get injured, or there's all sorts of other things. But um, anyway, glad you're here with us tonight at like 2.30 in the morning. It's not quite 2.30, but it's past 2 in the morning. I was going to get my daily commitment done in the sunshine again. Yay for sun exposure. Remember, guys, check out the videos and the links. We've got awesome ones on good things like sun exposure. It can be good for you. It's complicated. Brain chemicals chart. I'm telling you, there's certain activities that engage different quadrants of your brain, and you need different brain chemicals for that. And so let's say we're doing exercise that, that that actually that's your brain is getting something good out of your exercise. And then if you're getting some sun exposure, your brain's getting a different part of your brain's getting something good from the sun exposure. Anyway, we don't need to get in a bunch of theories. Let's get into uh, what we are doing, which is that little bit of exercise every day. Now it was interesting. I actually felt some soreness. I think it was my right elbow. I think it was right elbow. I don't know what I was doing today I, at work or whatever. I was like, wait a second, did I am I really getting a lot of strain, even from just 17, I've just gone up one. I don't know. But we're going to keep doing really good reps. I think that's important. Nice and slow and control. We're not whipping the weight around. Even though we can do a bigger weight than this, we're not whipping the right weight around. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should watch a video on uh, the proper way to do curls, right? Like I watched a video about the proper way to do push-ups. And I've been instructed you guys we call it instructing but i've been telling you guys how you know you should do the the curl since it's interesting because i changed at first i was like letting my elbow rest against my body here when i did it right but then later i actually turned angled a little bit differently so the elbow could be free because i felt like it was kind of leveraging up against my elbow so it just shows you that i've changed things i've never looked up how to do a curl maybe somebody's told me a long time ago so anyway, it'd be interesting if I end up changing the form in these. I should probably look that up, but I'm not doing that now. So you have to have some creativity, some fun, some originality. Who knows? <laughs> we'll be going backwards on curls, you know, a uh, hundred videos from now. I'll be like, well, I should have looked it up. Anyway, I think that's 15 there. Let's do 16 and then 17. It's really amazing how I, you know, this little bit every day is going to add up to a lot. I'm going to a big change. I do. I see changes in my arms already. They're not huge, but they're there. They're there. Look back at some of my old videos. Go back. Go back. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we've only been doing the curls. So that's the first set of five there. Uh, this is number six. We've only been doing the curls for since the beginning of this year. So it's April. So we four months in. Almost four months in. We started with ten. Now we're doing seventeen. We haven't increased weight yet. We're going to increase weight at 20. All right, that's our, our rule, the rule of 20, we call it. We just made it up one day. We didn't ask anybody about it. I got a little bit of experience working out with other things, but we used to move up, when I was a kid, we used to move up at like 15. We're like, 15 is so many to do per set. But now that I think about it, we would do three sets of 15. So in a way, that's more. Anyway, that's the first 15 there. Whatever, we're using the rule of 20. We're going to see what happens. If you can do 20 of an exercise, you got it down pretty well. You can go up a little bit in, in weight at that point. And you're not just, you get all endurance. 20 is my magic number, whatever. We're getting out of it. Anyway, we did our uh, curls. Now, we're going to do the, uh, the, real, the real gold here on the exercise. Uh, is we're going to be doing, we actually have a jar of olives today. <laughs> Jar of olives today as our uh, mic stand. I, I mix it up. I have different mic stands. Uh, so anyway, push-ups. So first of all, we can have a lot of success with these. And by success, I mean not high in number, but really good quality. But outside, we got a little more room. Let's let's uh, let's scoot ourselves up a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, that's good. Yeah, you can see you can see you're going to be able to see my legs tightening. You can see my shoulders here. Let's put it down a little so we can see the ground as well. There we go. Now we can see the ground as well. All right, so here we go. We're right at our shoulders. We're gonna come down. We're gonna go back about a little, I mean, it's an inch. I would say back a little bit, out a little bit, an inch maybe. But here's the thing. This is the position we want for elbows. That tucked position, tucked. If we start going like this, we've already failed, all right? 
So, and that's fine. It's fine to fail, but just you know, we can't count that as a successful rep. All right. So we're gonna tighten legs. We're gonna tighten butt. We're gonna tighten uh, belly. I guess that is belly. We're gonna tighten chest. Tighten head. Everything. We're all flat like a board. We're gonna tuck our arms. We're just gonna come straight up. Tuck those arms, baby. One. Tuck those arms, baby. Okay. Two. Tuck those arms, baby. Keep it tight. 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 Okay. Let's look at our tuck. Okay. It looks good. Tuck. Stay tucked. Stay. Okay, that's it. We're done. We're done. Third one burned us out, I think. We're coming down. I started wanting to flare, but instead, I just kind of could barely do exercise. All right, so three. Three is all we got. Uh, what we're going to do now, I think we're just going to do a few knees. So you're going to see. I'm going to bring my feet up like this. I'm going to go ahead like this. The knee one's actually almost burning out with this. It's just a harder way to do push-ups. But if you do this, you can get a little balance there. Get a little less weight. Anyway, we're going to go like this. Back, so down. Back a little bit, out a little bit. Keep them tucked. Keep those elbows tucked. Tucked elbows. Here we go. Knee push-ups. Try to keep everything engaged. It's kind of weird because usually you have your toes to keep you up a little bit. But this is fine. One. We're pretty much burned out already. We'll do two of these. Two. These kind of lighter weight. This is analogous to a superset. If you've ever worked out and done supersets. It's, I don't know. The superset is the right word. There's a thing where you do a bunch and a less and less or whatever. You do multiple reps. I forget all the stuff I used to do when I was a kid. Anyway, I'm burned out. And it's right here. It's the back of this because you're keeping it tight. You're not using your shoulders. And not as much, I guess, anyway. And your pecs, you still feel them using them. And, I, and you feel this back. You're doing some back stuff. I don't know what it is, man. But it's good stuff. So I think we did like, what do we even do three knee ones? I think I was burnt out of two knee ones and three regular. And what's interesting is when I started daily commitment push ups, I actually started with five knee push ups. This is before I even did videos. No videos were done this time. I was just fucking around with working out. I'm like, God, I'm so fucking weak. So it just started with five knee push ups. I wanted something easy. And then I moved up to like three knee push ups and two real push ups. And then it took me about a month. And I went from five knee push-ups to five real push-ups. I could do a real push at the time. I guess I was just going like this and keep my arms out using all shoulders or whatever. Whatever. I could do five push-ups. Push myself off the ground, you know? And all the way down, all the way up. I was real good about that, even back then. Uh, so that's really my first videos. I was doing five push-ups. And I slowly moved that up and up. I got to about 12 before I kind of realized I was doing the push-ups wrong. And then I came down. To like two or three I could do. Even back then I was when I flaring my arms to here, I thought that was okay. I didn't realize I was supposed to totally tuck them until I went back and looked at it again. I got about to nine, but I was still cheating. Cheating the exercise. So then when I tucked them all the way in, I really started noticing it, it really gets this right here. And it gets this line right in your back here, right behind your shoulder blades. It's awesome. The push-ups are really awesome. I'm excited to do the push-ups every time. Anyway, definitely different motion I'm learning for sure. Uh, but, you know, this all started, believe it or not, when I was watching a YouTube video. I, didn't, I, I just thought I was doing push-ups. I thought everybody just stuck their arms out and did push-ups. I was watching a YouTube video. And I go, hey, I'm going to, not YouTube videos, just watching YouTube. And I'm like, I wonder who the world champion guy of push-ups is. And, of course, I YouTube that. I watched the world champion push-up guy. And he had his arms like this. And he was doing these weird push They looked weird. And I'm like, why is he doing them like that? And then I ended up looking the correct way to do push-ups, and this is perfect push-up guy. And, and once again, just like with the uh, brain chemical chart, right down the description is going to be, you guessed it, the perfect push-up video. Anyway, so then I found the perfect, perfect, perfect push-up video. You know how to do push-ups? I'm like, what? And the guy, the first thing the guy says practically is people focus on quantity rather than quality. And so. Think about that. There I am looking at it going, oh shit, he's doing it with his arms tucked like this, like the, the world championship guy, you know, the record holder or whatever. I'm like, well, maybe that's the right way to do it. The world record holder's doing it. You know, the best of the best is doing it this way. A, B, you're an instructor telling you to do it this way. Like, maybe try it that way, dum dum. Anyway, but it's really helped my posture. It's helped because all that tensing, you're, you're engaging your core, you're doing all this great stuff. Anyway. More push-ups to come, guys, and more success to come. But it's funny that I'm down to three 
real push-ups and two knee push-ups now. <laughs> when I was, it's just really funny to me. I, it might not be as funny to you guys, but it's funny to me. After a year and a half of working out, I've made progress there. This form, like I could go back to the old push-ups and sure and pump out 12, you know, whatever, or what, 13, 14. Who knows? I'm able to do like 20 of those now that I, I know how to do the strong one here. Maybe I can start tight and do a bunch and just be like, I'm going to be all sloppy now. Let me see if I can stick my shoulders out. Anyway, what do I got to do next? This is important. Squats. Right. All right. Very talkative game of community today. It was really, it was funny. That number five came up and I'm doing knee push-ups again. I'm like, that feels like the old days. But it's weird. Back then, since I started five knee push-ups, that was always probably, that was probably two Two weeks into the month or something, right? I was on three and two. Anyway. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the vest. This has made a huge difference. Thank you to my sister, Steph. Thank you so much for pushing me and telling me, hey, you need to do weighted exercise. Don't just increase exercises. Don't be a dumb dumb. I'm like, what? No. You get just as far with no, no extra weight. Just do a thousand squats. You'll gain strength. Yeah, no. It doesn't really strength works. That's why people use weights. They're not just something that nobody uses for no reason. Right? Yeah. So, anyway. It makes it easier, dude. It takes forever to do the 64 squats. You know, it was a bit aerobic exercise, to be fair. And it was, well, you can always use some aerobic, right? But still. Definitely, this is a much easier daily commitment. As weird as that seems. I mean, that's the whole thing of daily commitment, right? It's supposed to be easy. Right? Make it a habit. Make it easy. Right? That's one of our key phrases we, we utter at the end of every video. Anyway, let's get to this. Wow, 11 minute video, I'm blabbering a lot. Right. So we got this, here's our position. We'll do this while we're positioning here. All right, so we're about like this. We should be able to go like this. We get that stretch in there. It still feels very stretched at this point to me. But again, I've been instructed in different books and material that I've read that you should be able to do this and that gets you into a decent squat position. The other thing I've instructed you is make sure you tuck your head. I used to even keep a tennis ball here. So let's go up. Let's tuck that head. Let's get those knees spread properly. Do the weird, the weird arm motion. Yeah, I invented that. That's not. I just, I was, I just thought it was good because you're getting all this extra exercise going that with your arms every time you come with your arms. Plus, you get to clap at the end of every squat. Like, who doesn't want to clap at the end of every squat? That's awesome. So three. Let's keep those legs out. Let's keep that head tucked. Four. Oh, you get to cross your arms when you come down. Feel real strong. All right. Five. Oof. Six. Sometimes I like to make the silly faces. It makes it fun. Seven. Oof. Eight. Oof. And usually I do go ahead and do one of these right here. The chest. Make sure, all right? All right. All right. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Let's just do this one more time. 13. 14. 15. 16. Change my angle just a little bit on that one. 17. And I can keep going. But I don't need to. Because that's not what it's about. We only were trying for about 70% of the maximum today. So that was good. That was awesome. Probably a little less than that point, but we're like pretty much our maximum every day. Not quite. But I'm a push-up. So it's possible we need to tone it down, but I'm just such a such a low amount. I don't think I'll hurt myself pushing for my maximum at such a low amount. But I might. I might, so I'll have to look out for that. We're still stuck at about three. I think we got four the other day, but I think it came out on three, so. Three good ones is where we're at. Anyway, I only started with like 30% battery in this, so we don't want to blow it out. Just remember, guys, a little bit every day adds up to a lot. Make it a habit. Make it easy. And good luck with your daily commitments. See you next time, guys.